Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So apparently Google is experimenting with a so-called safeguard in Chrome that will run at startup, it says, to better protect you from search engine hijacking. And as you may well know, these attacks can originate and come from extensions or software that silently replaces your default search engine with their own redirecting searches without giving you clear consent, also known as spyware, or potentially unwanted apps. Now, this feature is very much in its early stages of development and hasn't even made it into the Canary browser. But if we head over to a Chromium Garrett patch, here we can see it says, Reset tampered default search engine on startup. This CL introduces a recovery mechanism to protect users from a hijacked or tampered default search engine, DSE. Now, basically what they are saying here and describing this new feature, the feature will introduce a startup check, as mentioned, that compares the browser's default search engine with a mirrored copy stored earlier. And if Chrome finds that they don't match, it will automatically clear the change and restore the browser's fallback search engine, which is usually Google Search. Now, the current approach in Google Chrome only alerts you when your default search engine has been modified. But this new feature, this new recovery mechanism takes action at startup, which basically at the end of the day could mean that Chrome can undo hijackings immediately without requiring you to have to notice and spot warnings or make changes yourself. Now, although this in theory sounds like a good idea, I need to ask the question, is this a legit security feature or is this something that Google is just using to promote its own Google search engine? Because I think a lot of users, your average Joe home user, won't even notice that this is taking place in the background. And another question I need to ask is, is this going to hinder performance because it will be running in the background continuously unless obviously Google provides a toggle and a switch to be able to turn this feature on and off, which I personally don't think they will. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Always interested to know. Move in the right direction or not. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.